Teresa. Thanks for joining me again on my channel for another video. Today's video, I'm going to share with you guys how I decorate my planner to try and stay organized. So if you want to see how I decorate my planner, just keep watching. The first thing I like to do is get all of my planner supplies on my desk. And now I'm just removing my bookmark out of the current week and I'm putting that into the week that's coming up. And the week that I'm planning for is the first week of March. And I'm just snapping this into place and I'm just using the push-pull method. And then I go back to my monthly view and I just write in any overall goals that I have for my YouTube channel or my blog. And I write that into the little divider that I made. Then I go to the days of the month and I write in anything that I need to remember. And here I'm just writing in that I need to do payroll for my sister's company. And I'm using little gold stickers to keep that. And then I put stickers between each day of the week and I also put a nice green border on the side because I want this month to be really colorful and funkadelic. And keeping with that theme, I'm using this cupcake duct tape and I'm using that because my mom's birthday is this month. I'm also taking this pot of gold and putting it on St. Patrick's Day and keeping with the St. Patrick's Day theme, I'm going to put two other St. Patrick's Day stickers on my pouches and I just thought that this was really festive. So moving on over to my mother's birthday, I'm just taking this sticker that has stars on it and I'm keeping with the colorful theme. And at the bottom of this page, I'm using this Funkadelic duct tape, which made me think about the 60s. And my mom was born in the 60s. So here was a really exciting day. I am trying to do an American flag because it marked the 50th anniversary of the Selma Bloody Sunday. And President Obama was there. My entire family actually went to Selma and we got to see him and hear him speak. So I was really, really excited about being able to go and hear him speak. So this is my makeshift American flag. I don't have a lot of artistic abilities, but I thought that this flag did come out pretty okay. And that day was a really great day. I got to see Michelle and I got to see President Obama and I was really excited. And to keep up with the Funkadelic theme, I added a border to the side. And we were also in revival this month, so I wanted to make sure that I used stickers to map out the days that we were in revival so I wouldn't forget anything that I needed to do for church. And on the day that our revival climaxed, I just used a really pretty sticker and I also put some red rhinestones on this day because this was my pastor's appreciation and I wanted to definitely remember that I had a lot to do for that day and that I needed to make sure that that day was commemorated. So I wanted a little more color on this page. I know, I know. So I went ahead and put this other sticker to the side. And this is what it looks like. It is really funkadelic, kind of reminds me of the 60s in tribute to my mom's birthday. So now I'm moving on to my week at a glance and I'm taking my tabs that I created on my computer and I'm just putting clear tape on top of those. And then I'm going to cut them out individually. Once I have the tabs cut out in individual slits, I'm taking those slits and putting them face down on another piece of clear tape. I'm splitting that tape in half and then I'm going to put that onto my planner. I have a tab for household, church, my beautiful style, and my personal time. Now it's time to go in for each day of the week and write in the things that I need to remember. And here, this is my mother's birthday, so I'm writing down any plans that we had for that day. And I'm also going to put a happy birthday sticker on that day so that I'll remember to do something special for her. Over on the other side is the weekend, so this is when we were going to see President Obama, which is why I put a red, white, and blue sticker there, and I wrote in that we were going to see him. I was uber excited, if you guys can't tell. And also in this area, I write in any overall to-do list that I have, anything that's kind of random or miscellaneous. And there's also an area here where I used to write in 
my menu for the week and I love utilizing this that way I don't have to guess what to cook then I go up to my tabs and I write in any specific to-do list that I have for each category and usually I have a couple of things for each category and this is the way that I keep them in track And once I've done my to-do list, I just go ahead and put in some border stickers. I like to do this so that it makes it seem happier and festive. And I wanted to keep with the really colorful theme with the Funkadelic 60s thing going on in tribute to my mom's birthday. And I just use more green stickers with reds and yellows and burgundies. And this is what my week at a glance ended up looking like for the first week in March. Nothing too crazy, but my month at a glance is pretty colorful and out there. I don't usually have this many colors, but I really thought it was nice. And that's it guys. That's what my planner looks like from month to month and week to week. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!